Okay, um, I've already gone ahead and this is how we're gonna change. We're gonna change this from a eight head, eight head into a six head. I've already removed the planting push part. It's real simple, I'm four bolts here, four bolts on the other side. They have um, set in nuts to keep them in place. So they're just easy to remove and slide, remove the spring and slide it out. So I didn't figure you needed to see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to change the head. I like to get all my tools together. You're gonna to need three quarter inch wrench, a Phillips screwdriver. I like a centering type punch. This is a small Phillips screwdriver, but just big enough to go through the little baby holes there. And then I also have a small um, regular screwdriver just in case the, because these nuts sometimes are difficult to move, so this helps move them. Um, I also have, since we're going to a six head, and you'll need the, these particularly right here for your, your five and your six head, um, and then you'll need the smaller ones for your seven, your eights, um, and that's it. So we're going to need six of these because we have six heads. All right, first step is you take and you push this off, this bolt. Not, you remove the nut, you remove the washer, remove this. It's simple and easy. I like to turn it over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these screws here. They're set at the eight head. There are numbers on here. They go from five to ten. Some of them are five and tens, and some of them have um, are all one. So it's it, basically when you have a screw in that hole, that means that's your setting. So you got to make sure you watch that on both sides. Okay. So I take my screwdriver, and I'm going to remove all of the screws holding this together. And I like to give myself a clean, clean workspace so you don't lose any. Because you never know. And this is where I always grab this one sometimes because, as I said, these screws can be difficult. last one that I'm going to remove now. Okay. All you have to do, lift this whole part out and set this aside. Okay. Now, as you can see, this mechanism, this is set with eight heads on it and each, or eight points on it. Each point is this whole entire self-enclosed uh, mechanism that has a bearing on the inside. This right here is your spin plate that these things go into. So the next step is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to remove these springs. Just real easy, they come right off. Put those aside. Apparently I took that spring off already. Or forgot to put it back on the last time I changed the head. But you definitely want to make sure you put the springs back on because they're what closes the beak or your point, whatever you want to call it. And I like to just move these out of the way. Once again, we're going to take this plate apart right here, here, here. All of these are set on the eight. removed. Now this piece right here won't come out. That's true. You have to flip it back over. Make it simple. And all of these pieces will just come right out. Come 
apart. Now, since we're going down to an eight head, we want to, get, and we, I'm down to a six head, and we started an eight, we don't need two of these, so we can go ahead and put them aside um, to have for when we want to change the head size again. Now, once you take those out, since I said there were two of these little things in here, you're going to need to remove them. These things were in for the eight head. So these come in your little packet along with springs and some extra screws and the long ones too. So I just take a flathead screwdriver and run it around this little round part here and uh, remove those. Once I have all those removed, I can go ahead and take one of those long ones and put it on here. Now you want to put it on the wide part, not the skinny part, but the wide part. The part that the um, bearing doesn't isn't on. It actually goes through it, but the part, this part. And then this needs to go in like this. But in order to determine where it goes, you can do two things. You can kind of set it up so you know that you need um, six going around. Or what I like to do is I kind of do a... Um, kind of a guess, I guess. I turn it over and I locate where there is a six on here. And I go ahead and I match it up to this hole. And I go with the um, outer hole, the foremost outer hole for the six head. And then I make sure that this goes into where it needs to go. 